So this is a, the 29th of August and we have a couple of things that's gonna hit us pretty quickly come September 1st. Um, we have a, uh, the, the October hackathon um, our, our, mm -hmm. uh, from an outreach, we should decide if we, we wanna do that hackathon. We usually do, we usually get good uh, response from it. I don't know why we wouldn't. Um, and Steve, is there anything that you have thoughts on in terms of joining the October um, hackathon? Hack, what do they call it? Hacktoberfest. Um, Hacktoberfest. They have uh, not um, updated anything on the website yet. They usually will do it two weeks beforehand. So middle of September is when we'll be able to get all the information together over to dig DigitalOcean. And uh, do you want to do that this year? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, it doesn't take, what we have to do is just tag some issues um with the right um label and then we'll be good to go yeah and in terms of getting people more contributors i think we need to um, spend a little time uh maybe we should just do it one of the the next architecture meetings we have we just focus on going through the tickets and making sure they're marked good first request our, our good first good pull request or um you know label them so people know which ones are easy to get started on. I've had uh, several people ask me to, uh, to, to do that. I don't know, Steve, is that something you want to just take on or you want me to try to go through it? It's hard. I think it's hard for me to see what it is too. I will try to go through it um, and figure out what we need to do. And, Cause I, I have to go through and take off the old label, put on the new label. Um, I, cause I'm guessing the way that it'll probably be need to be tagged as Hacktoberfest 2022 in the label. I have to see when they, when they give their rules, cause they change things slightly from year to year on what you need to, um, how you need the logistics on the back end to work. Uh, and then also what will have to happen is the participants will have to go over to digital ocean and register there so they get counted. Okay. So once we get the link, we'll have to push that link out so it, people know where to go and get registered on the DigitalOcean side and then how they can find um, the issues. Um, I believe we have a Hacktoberfest um, like webpage that will probably need to be updated. Okay. Or blog, yeah, I, can't, I can't remember if it's a blog or if it's an actual page. I generally do a blog. Oh, crud. I just totally screwed up the outreach committee meeting minute minutes. I like I deleted the entire year. Well, just a control Z you're on do and it'll come back. I thought I was hitting that and I hit the, the back arrow and it saved it all. Oh, well, it's Google Doc, it's always there. Okay. Yeah, it's got a vision. It's got a vision um, controller, should you? Yeah. You can well, just flip back to the last version. How do I do that? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you share your screen? That's all that's there is I guess. Okay, so go to edit. Yeah, hit one of those, go forward or backward. Probably have to go forward. But uh, you can use the, the this, where you say like next to the name, upper is says saving. And I, uh, under that say last edit was a second ago, mm -hmm. a link mm -hmm. where you can check all the historic. No, and the, uh, uh, where it says, uh, Upside the size. Next to help. Next to help. Yeah, it's yeah. a big thing that says last edited seconds ago. This one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So there Yay. you can just see there like. There it is. So now what do I do? Like you can go to the previous version. Yeah, to the right. I think you can go to the right. There you can open that to see all these changes from today. That's what it looked like before I screwed it up. Yeah, so you go want to, to go, restart go. that? Restart, uh, yes. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah, I've done it plenty Thank of times. Thank you. 
<laughs> that's why we like Google Docs. Yeah, that's why we have Steve. <laughs> Sergio is the one that knew the tricks on that one. Yeah, well, exactly. I share a lot of documents, so people are screwing the document. <laughs> Not that good. You just did it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I did. I swear. Well, don't have anything highlighted in blue. Well, I didn't mean to. I just was trying to type. Is this meeting okay. being recorded? Yes. Yes, it is. It's very embarrassing, too. <laughs> oh, it's classic. Okay. Yeah. It's a good it Monday. Is. It is a good Monday. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right yeah oh, that was good i'm glad i could entertain you all that was brilliant <laughs> all right um what's it called like october october fest october fest <laughs> <laughs> um will um be announced over the course of the next two weeks tracy will update last year's blog or this year's links steve and sergio i'm going to put your name on this too to take a look at some of those um we'll review existing Okay. Full requests to um, issues, issues. Oh, issues to identify as um, Hacktoberfest 2022. Um, now, along with uh, Hacktoberfest, we we have a way for more people to get involved and create pull requests. Um, do you know, Steve, if there if blogs count for a uh, Hacktoberfest? Yes. So um, we could uh, we could include during this time um, a blog or a blogathon. We've done blogathons before, but in the past when we did them, we were still on the old version of the website. So now that we have it in Markdown version, people can actually create their blogs and then submit it as updates to the website and get credit for the Hacktoberfest. Correct. Does uh, anybody have an objection or if, uh, to doing that? Oh, I think it's totally great because not everyone else maybe have the opportunity to code something at that on this point. So they right. have the opportunity to share and, and contribute. Yeah, totally. By the way, Hacktoberfest has a K in it. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty minor, I gotta say. Yeah, well, it still looks weird if it's wrong. But you can count as someone's for pull requests. Um, I, I, I'll update. I'll have to date the the blogathon uh, blog as well. Yeah, so the way we manage our issues, all of our issues are in one repository. So even though the website's in a di different repository, the issues will be um, easy to find because they're all centralized. And then when you do your pull request, you can refer to issues in another repository uh, in your comment. Cool, okay. And, so, uh, and all that, um, when we go through the, the approval process and stuff like that, when the PR gets uh, merged, we just need, we'll make sure that the appropriate tags there to get counted. Okay, so we need pull uh, issues marked, uh, blog suggested, um, blog a thon topics um, and then anything else that we need to get done for that uh, that is just going to be the the uh, social side of things pushing out uh, tweets and stuff like that 
saying that we're per participating. Okay. Um, we do also have uh, KubeCon is, is coming up um, for North America and it's in Detroit. Um, Brad uh, has, been ha has been invited to uh, speak at the uh, CDF co-located event. Uh, Brad's already. Brad will be attending, so he's already there. KubeCon is getting weird. If even if you're a speaker, you have to pay to attend. Brad is already registered and working with FAI Bot T. Yeah, there he is. But you say if you're speaking, you have to pay, even though yeah. you've been invited. Yeah. That's, that's kind of weird. <laughs> what? I don't know. I would think, why <laughs> yeah, do you have to pay it? if you're a speaker? <laughs> but you're speaking. That's just and what they to, changed it to be. You have to pay to attend. You're contributing for free I know. and you have to pay. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, I get it if I have to pay, but not to speak there. I know. <laughs> if you're invited to speak, you still have to pay. Maybe if, if you want like some, I don't know, where to stay or some food. But just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Weird. Okay. okay. Interesting. I think it's weird too. Finances must be tough. <laughs> yeah like usually... and, it's, and it's not cheap it, it's like $1,500 like, or something like that yeah, it's almost $2,000 it's almost $2,000 usually, usually you have to pay the people who is going to speak I know yeah. that's why it's normally like that, it's so yeah. other way around normally yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. well I don't know and then <laughs> um, you know we have December is always just right around the corner, and I'm wondering if we should have a start having a discussion about the format for our uh, visionary summit. Oh yes, yes. I think always I'm being just preparing stuff last week, so it will be great if we take some of the I don't know, like a month before <laughs> November at least yeah. have some focus on on this. Because I'm wondering, and, and I don't know what you think about this, but it might be fun to have everybody do their uh, do presentations live. It's harder to do, and we've kind of coached mm. everybody to do them recorded, um, but I maybe we need to do them live. I must but say I prefer it to the recording. I find the recording so hard. <laughs> and I think that we, I think if we do them live and make sure they're all 10 minute lightning talks. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, I, I, like I would that. like to say a new thing. I think the 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 the, the actual uh, format is we are doing well. It's it's time to like move on on something new. <laughs> yeah. So we did lightning talks last time. Not everybody stuck with the ten minutes, um, but I, and that that could be hard if it's uh, recorded. Uh, if it's not recorded, to make sure somebody only does ten minutes. But I, I think that we should have, if we do it again with 10 lightning talks and we have everybody do them live. So that would mean that we would just have a massive uh, Zoom meeting. Well, it wouldn't be a massive Zoom meeting. We would broadcast over Twitch and YouTube live. Uh, we would have everybody who's presenting and on the um, Zoom meeting. And we could have everybody attend the Zoom meeting. I can I can publish it as a web webinar, and I I think we can have several people on. Do you know how many people we're allowed to have, Steve? At least fifty, right? For participants or for um, for hosts? attendees, attendees. Uh, we could have up to a thousand. So yeah, oh, we could do thousand. we could yeah we could do so we could do a deploy hub a webinar account using, uh, what is it called, StreamYard, Twitch, YouTube Live, and present it and do it that way. And didn't, didn't, did we do LinkedIn Live as well? Yeah, we have. Uh, yeah, we did. And whose account did we use? Did we use our account? Uh, yeah. Yes, okay. so we use our account. Okay. So maybe in the um, our next meeting, we make this kind of a our priority to discuss. Um, if you all can think about uh, what, new ways to present um, and do things, uh, I'm open to any uh, any suggestions and ideas, just so we can keep uh, keep it fresh and keep uh, you know keep things moving along. 
as Sergio pointed out. So I'll just put team will make this the number one topic for next meeting. And those kind of cover it, the uh, blogathon, the Hacktoberfest, um, and getting somebody to speak at KubeCon, which I think we have covered. Yeah, so the CD Foundation has, um, you know, let me drop this in the chat, uh, kind of like three events. And I think we're only doing so they have their CDF is going to be have presence in Dublin, then KubeCon, and then another part of KubeCon. Uh, looks like the Spinnaker Summit. Yeah, they're doing, there's a Spinnaker Summit uh, that's being paid for by um, Armory. I'm, I'm thinking it up for the Cubicom on, on Europe, but I think it's going to be on um, like uh, 2023, like January or February. I couldn't get into the NA. <laughs> it will be I know. We, 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 thank goodness for Brad. He's a CNCF ambassador, so he seems to get, uh, get into those talks pretty easy. Um, and Fati actually reached out to me and said, is there anybody from Ortilius who'd like to do a talk at the co-located event? I was like, I don't know anybody who's going, <laughs> <laughs> except for Brad. And, Brad. and Brad definitely is going. And so he, he'll be able to at least, we'll have a Ortelius represent, uh, some representation there, um, even though it's at the co-located event, which is fine. Now that you mentioned, I, 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 I did the, the, the submit of, uh, for Ambassador. I don't have any response. <laughs> I'm going to ask to Brad how, how much time it takes to have a review. And then other outreach I've been doing, I have um, reached out to um, the, the uh, US Department of Homeland Security. Her name is Abby, uh, let me get her name really quick. Uh, Abby. D-E-I-F-T. I don't know quite sure how to spell that. I mean, how to say that, deft. D-E-I-F-T. Uh, she is the, um, she works for the uh, person by the name of Robert Silver, who's the undersecretary. And she is the manager, her title is, I thought I put it in here. Hmm. I don't see a title. Oh, managing director for strategy. And she is working uh, closely with, the, uh, with Robert Silver in the um, DHS's response to open source security issues. I gave her a full demo. Um, she's not super technical, but I did give her, a, a, let me see, senior manager strategy. I did give her a demo and she is going to uh, encourage Robert Sil uh, Silver to act to, to see the demo as well. I've also reached out to um, IBM. I'm working with uh, a person by the name of uh, Jamie Thomas and Jeffrey, I think is Barrick like that. Um, we did a demo. How many people do you think was on that demo, Steve? Maybe a dozen. Yeah. Had about 12 people on to see Ortilius. And my ask for them is that for them to become um, a corporate contributor. So I'm starting to uh, look to see if we can't uh, get corporate contributors. And that's the same with VMware, even though they're now part of Broadcom. I do have a meeting with their um, CTO. Uh, to discuss the same thing. And that meeting I think is this week and I can't think of his name right now and I'll add it. So I'm trying, uh, we're at a point now with the project that we need to have a, cor a, a higher level corporate contributor to, to, to help sponsor it. Um, so I'm gonna continue working on uh, doing that level of outreach. 
we need one. And then next week, uh, Tracy and I are going to be at the Ripple, the XRPL. They're doing a one day um, trade show in Las Vegas. So we're going to be there to, um, you know, go to the sessions and try to get to, to meet the right people for our project. And not that it matters for the outreach, but the uh, governing board did give us an approval for spending funds to hire a, uh, a blockchain um, architect. Uh, we were hoping that uh, somebody we had talked to pre previous and uh, Tony Pear is not going to be able to do it. He's got, he says he's too busy mm -hmm. uh, and he's trying to find some, somebody else. But if anybody knows someone who is, has background in blockchain, um, please let us know. We need someone to, uh, review. We'd like to have somebody outside of XRP uh, review the architecture as well as internal to XRP. Uh, just so if there's something that we should know that is related to XRP that maybe they won't tell us. <laughs> um, we just have a second, a second set of uh, non-biased eyes on that and take a look at it and maybe do some review on it. So it's not a whole lot of work, um, but we, will, we are looking for uh, somebody to do that. And, then, and shor shortly after that, we'll be able to get started on some of the coding and everybody who is a contributor will be um, uh, welcome to uh, apply for that, that work um, and get started on the project. And then finally, the our swag. Um, yeah, it swag. sounds like uh, or uh, uh, Siddharth is going to get uh, a bunch of it delivered this week. And yeah. then from there, um, we'll start sending it out. He's going to send some of it here to the States, um, but uh, where it makes logistical sense, he'll send it uh, some of the stuff from his place. And we probably need to get a Google form together for people that we can send to people that we know deserve to have one um, so we can get that done. Oh, and then there was something about badges. Um, like your first commit badge or something like that. Is that we did. what you? We created a first commit committer, a first, I think we called it, we called it first encounter, uh, which is the kind yes. of a first, first pull request badge, basically, um, that's I out like there. That. It's first not, encounter. It's <laughs> so good. Uh, I laughed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Arvin. Uh, we work before on the form, and I have the same form in my Google form. Oh, great! You want to send that to me again? Now that we have the actual yeah, swag, okay. uh, actually, okay. just just add me to it, and then I'll um, or and then we can uh, collaborate on it. Yeah, I will add you. Yes, the badge is there. Um, it's a, not a very interesting looking badge because I don't have the skills that Sergio does to create evil lords. <laughs> I, I was trying to watch it too because I, 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 I saw the, the, the email, but I didn't check the, the badge, but I, I, I have an error. Can you tell me how to do link? Yeah, let me show you. I, I don't know why you would need my link because I just took your stuff and I, I plagiarized it. So. <laughs> I just want to make, I don't know, if, if, if you tell me that I, I can just uh, create anything, I will. I just want to check what, what is the, like the actual. Oh, so there's actual the badge. Oh, okay. okay, okay. So nice. I just took, I just took uh, your background. I put our logo on it and I wrote first encounter. But you okay, can probably do, a, you can probably do a much better job of that. Okay, yeah. I'm going to try to rebrand with the new stuff, but uh, it. You need to have like a, the big alien on the center because I was thinking like maybe some kind of encounter <laughs> image, you know, like. Well, I, uh, it, it was something I did really fast, like within an hour, I got it out and done because, uh, you know, 
uh, uh, Brad was asking for it. <laughs> so I went ahead and just got that done. But we can update this yeah. badge. I think if we update it here, it will up show everywhere. Okay. Okay. I'm going. Okay. <laughs> I have something on mine. Thank you. Okay. Great. Cool. And I think that, unless Steve, is there anything else that you might no, have? That's the only thing I could think of. Yeah, Tracy, I send you the request. Okay. All right, I'll work with you on that, Arvin. Yeah. And then what's going to happen is everybody who is basically in Asia, uh, uh, Siddharth is going to handle the shipping. And then he's shipping us a box, half of it. And I think it's the nylon running shirts. I don't think we got any t-shirts yet. Um, but the uh, nylon running shirts, the everybody else, um, it'll come from us. So Steve and I will... Uh, ship them from here. So that's how that's going to work. So Sasha and Sergio, you'll be a little bit behind because you're not in Asia and it'll, it'll be a lot faster for, for Siddharth to get them out. Than for, it's going to take a while to get that box to us. I'm, I'm used to it. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. Me too. Me too. I don't mind it, money for something good. And, and cool. Sasha, since you're in the middle, you, me comes from, from Siddharth. We'll just have to see. Yeah, but thank you very much. Yeah, I really, yo, it's so cool that we're getting some swag. Thanks. It's awesome. Yeah. I really don't mind waiting. It's really cool. I like presents, and actually. I, I send myself presents because I love the, I actually love the waiting part. That's my favorite part. <laughs> and not knowing what's in the box. <laughs> well, it's that excitement of like, oh, when's it coming? And then you wait for the call. Yeah, the I'm, I'm going to record oh, my so unboxing, cool. or tell you some unboxing moment. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, yes, man. Unboxing yeah. search. <laughs> cool. hey, Sasha, <laughs> Sasha, All right, I just gotta a, run. Okay, yeah. Sasha, just a side note. Um, there's a company out of uh I think they're in jo I think they're in Johannesburg. Now I can't remember where they're at, but it's called Bank X. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they have a massive problem. They only have uh 60 microservices and they have a tangled web. Uh, and they are a bank service provider. Um, I mentioned that uh, you lived in uh, the area. Oh, thank you. Bank uh, X. I'll, I'm mm. I'll, con I'll connect you uh, on LinkedIn with some of the folks. Okay, cool. Thanks, Tracy. Yeah. They could use Ortilius to sort out their spaghetti. That's what they're looking at. Uh, they're looking at Deploy Hub. They've uh, they're started playing on Ortilius, but because they're a bank, they want all the security stuff. Oh, um, yeah. So, but they're looking at Deploy Hub, but they started with uh, yeah. by looking at Artilius. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, that's great. I don't mind helping them. Yeah, you might just go ping them and go have a beer or something with them or a shanty, whatever you guys call it. <laughs> 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 don't you guys have something called a shanty? Yeah, it's, a, it's, I think it's a shandy, I think. Uh, you're a talking shandy. about beer and lemon. Beer and yes! lemonade, mate. Yes. <laughs> beer and lemonade. I hate that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't really drink it, but yes, that's true. We have some weird things like that. Yeah. <laughs> we, call, we call it. Michelin. It gets weirder, I promise you. <laughs> it gets weirder. Uh, I also mix bitter lemon with beer and uh, other, here, all here, other things. Only, only gears uh, uh, bring that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Really. I, I don't care. It's, it's a, a, a gear drink. And I hate it. It's gross. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. I didn't realize it was like a thing. Was that? <laughs> I don't know. I, I really enjoyed the taste of uh, a beer. So yeah, maybe, maybe if you're just mixing one chip, like kind of Heineken, but why something like that? <laughs> but uh, not for a good beer. Please don't do it with a good beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please don't do it with a good beer. <laughs> yes, that's funny. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, it was great catching up and September is going to be a busy month. So I'm glad we got an early run on it. Yeah, and I have I'm going to lose for a week just because we are on uh, um, what is the name holiday from like Independence Day? Yeah, National Day, stuff like that. Yeah, I have we have like at least a week of <laughs> celebration. Sorry for that. <laughs> wow. so probably I'm, going to I better be, uh, buy my plane ticket to Chile. Yeah. You should come Party time. like a, like a, like on September, yeah, like fifteen until until nineteen. It's just part. 
Oh, nice. Oh, man. That sounds great. <laughs> yeah. I feel the thing. I'm going to sign some pitch, okay? Yeah, cool. Please do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye. Okay. Bye.